Hello, this is Survival Guyver, and today I'll be reviewing my What Ails Pack. What Ails Me Pack, I should say. This is just a waterproof, leak proof um, pack that I make up. Um, sometimes leave it on the shelf, this way it's already ready to go. Has some storage. I just throw it into my bag. My, uh, if I'm doing like an overnight camp or I'm doing a hike, or even if there's kind of like a sudden emergency and a you know, I gotta go. I just grab this right off the shelf. I have a couple of these set up in different um, versions. So for today, I'm just gonna go over the What Ails Ya pack. <clears throat> so this is What Ails Ya. So um, there's medication in here, um, over the counter medication. There's sunblock in here. There's stuff for stomach diarrhea. There's stuff for poison ivy. And I'm gonna go through it all with you. And show you how I do this. So this is also good if you're prepping and you want to keep all your certain kinds of stuff next to each other. Make like an individual pack for each house uh, member of the household or friend or group. This is what I use. So these are all just snap box. Already stuff falling out. And if you can tell, it's got a full rubber gasket all the way around. Okay. First thing that's coming out. This is the tick key. I can get this to let me put this a little out of the screen as stuff falls out and I'll go through it. So this is what's called the tick key. This is my way of choice to remove ticks, whether it be me or for my dogs, <clears throat> whatever. So say if it's on your arm, you put the teardrop side over the tick and then you pull towards the front end and it pulls his head out and everything. One shot. These are actually great. They come in like two dozen colors. If you want different colors, they come in three packs, six packs, 12 packs, 24 packs. I try to keep them in all of my bags, especially if I'm gonna be out in the woods instead of a, an urban environment, but out in the woods, way to take off ticks, always a good idea. And usually each of my bags has a different color tick key. <clears throat> Just a way to help me differentiate who they're for. Because some of the medication is person specific if they're allergic to aspirin or acetaminophen. So this one's got both in it, I believe, which is mine. So there's the tick key. They're up there. Next one is a dude wipe. This is a uh, flushable toilet wipe, or on the go, it's a moist towelette. It's got some aloe in it. Um, we've all had those crappy days where you gotta go at the most inconvenient times or you're at a truck shop a truck stop um, or a rest stop on the highway there's no toilet paper or it's just really nasty this is an option and it's flushable but of course I would recommend you know leave no trace behind you throw it in a ziploc bag when you're done seal it and when you get back to your vehicle or to a garbage can you dispose of it properly so that's number two. Next I have in here is two packets of Biofreeze. These are, this is a uh, cold therapy pain reliever, is what it says on the front. It's kind of like an icy hot of sorts. Uh, this is really good. It's a topical, it's a menthol related topical. Um, let's see. There we go, active ingredient is menthol, external use only for minor aches and pains, I use it for my knees or, or my shoulders after a lot of work. So it has a little bit of a blue color and it will dry with a slight blue color so you know where to wash, just in case you didn't know where you got it. That's Biofreeze. Next I have a couple of these, these are paws, there we go, antimicrobial hand wipes. Uh, made by Safe Tech, uh, so this is a fresh scent. It's a just a regular antimicrobial uh, hand wash towelette with aloe vera. I actually have a couple of versions of this, uh, just in case you need a larger one or something maybe a little bit stronger. It also makes a good fire starter. This is ethyl alcohol at 66.5% for an antiseptic. Um, it will burn, so if you need something to start a, a fire in wet conditions, it'll help. 
two of them. Now, oh, actually, I'm wrong. I have three of them. Sorry. And this is a My Medic Super Hand Wipe. It's a six inch by eight inch hand wipe. So you could use it kind of like a dude wipe, or you can use it all sorts of places. Dude wipe, you can use it to clean yourself off other places. But it's meant for two specific areas, but it'll work everywhere else. So this is just another version. This one is not wash, uh, not flushable. But yeah, whenever you need a big wipe, there you go. All right. Here we go. A lot of stuff in here. This is my Medic Super Hand Sanitizer. These are literally liquid hand sanitizer with aloe vera in them. Now, nowadays with the pandemic and all that stuff going on, this 72% alcohol still burns. So, just another way to help protect yourself. I may have to move these farther up soon because I got a lot of. Them. Well, these are the portable to go Pepto Bismols uh, for sometimes like acid reflux or upset stomach, diarrhea, Pepto Bismol. You know those whole uh, songs if you ever have those commercials. There's a couple other things in here for anti diarrheal and uh, anti acids. I always try to keep a little extra, sometimes with different brands, um, just so I always have some supply. So, two of those. So, four in total in those, but, you know, if you want to split it in half or not. Here comes the small medications. There's a whole host of them. Try to sort of straighten this out a little bit. All right. So, this is Diamode. This is an anti-diarrheal. It's just a little tablet. Like a pill capsule in there this is a generic so let's look at this in here loperamide anti-diarrheal there's a few of these in here actually there might be four in here yep four Ooh. come on focus there we go actually five of them in there. I also have <clears throat> Diphen, which is a antihistamine. I usually don't have that kind of trouble with anything. And Electrotabs Immedialite or um, or um, uh, electrolytes, two different versions of electrolytes. So, actually, I think the electro tab one is probably expired, so I'm gonna have to go through that shortly. So, what do we have here? Active ingredients uh, per tablet 220 milligrams of sodium chloride, 15 milligrams of potassium chloride, and 18 milligrams of calcium carbonate. And media light, if I can get it to. Focus and it's hard to read because it's yellow. Um, it's about the same thing, just about. All right. These, everybody should know what these are. It's hydrocortisone cream, 1%. So it's anti itch. Those really nasty bug bites or poison ivy or whatever else you may get into. We got three of those in here. Um, the medicine of choice for me, and I keep them in all of my gear, is BC Cherry, which is an aspirin and caffeine pain reliever. Um, so you can put them directly on your tongue. It's a powder. You put it directly on your tongue, drink water right after it, or I actually mix it with a secondary bottle of water. And then not only am I getting the hydration by the water, I'm also getting the aspirin. <clears throat> So that's how it works for me. It's cherry flavored, you only use one in like a 16 or 20 ounce container. But I go through them a lot for migraines and other kinds of issues. So we've got five there. I'll put them up there. 
It's a big mess over in that corner. I have this is Burnex Light. It's a burn gel uh, without lidocaine because some people can't have lidocaine. Um, so this is just a topical cooling gel for insect bites and skin irritations. Includes sunburn. Uh, and I, I mean, I know it by by what I what the small amount of it that you see from my hands, but I actually burn really, really badly. And I do have some other burn cream here. This is Safe Tech's first aid and burn cream. So you got first aid antiseptic, topical, and a uh, like a hydrocortisone um, item in there. So. This is for cuts and scrapes. Um, keeps the uh, wound moist and helps try to re uh, remove any bad germs or bacteria kind of thing. Um, and you could use it on sunburn. That's that. I'll put those there. Next up, there's two versions of this. So this is the Zaps the Pain Sting X with Pain Relief Pad. Temporary pain relief from insect bites and stings. Contains 6% uh, benzocaine. This one I believe is expired, so I'm going to probably toss this one shortly. Uh, but that's for bug bites. And then these are also for bug bites. Safe texting relief uh, as well. He's got ethylene glycol, or uh, ethylene alcohol, ethyl alcohol, sorry. Uh, which is antiseptic and lidocaine. So it's a little bit stronger for some people anyway. So depends on how bad you are. <laughs> just wait, there's still more in here. I may just have to move this, move this back a little bit because I'm running out of space. This is Bug X30 or Bug Times 30. I don't know how you say that one. Insect repellent towelette. So it's got DEET. And some kind of proprietary stuff is probably just what suspends the DEET in the towelette. So, for bugs, good stuff. Now I have two lip balms in here. This is the Sun X30. It's a sunscreen lip balm. SPF 30, broad spectrum. Come on, focus. There we go. So this is just a sunscreen, so if you're in a desert or by a lot of water or something, you want to protect your lips or other sensitive areas, there you go. And then this one, this one's hard to see because it's brown, Portland Bee Balm. So, it's got much more... Um, what do you call it? Um, not organic, but clean or not, not any some weird, any kind of derivative. So this is just, this is just lip balm made out of beeswax. It's more of a moisturizer. Next is, <clears throat> these are Ivory X. Okay. Cleanser towelette for poison oak. This is a cleaner for after you get exposed to poison ivy. So it helps remove uh, the oils from poisonous plants. Um, it can also be used for poison oak and poison sumac. So this is more people for people that are out in the woods. And for God forbid you're wearing shorts or something and you go through it and you start having problems later on. I don't wear shorts. I usually just wear jeans or something of that nature to protect myself. But... You never know. And these are more IVX. These are the pre-contact solutions. You can use this before you get in contact with anything. These are just another set of towelettes. This will protect you from a lot of tightness of skin pores against common environmental irritants. So never had to use them, but have them just in case. This is sunscreen. It's a sunscreen lotion, uh, 30 SPF, 
uh, UVA and UVB protection with aloe vera and some other vitamins. And the other is a utility towelette, which is just, you know, you need to clean anything up. It's kind of like the super hand wipes, same kind of concept. So I'll find a place to put all this. And one thing left in here. This is also <clears throat> Sun X30. Uh, sunscreen lotion, broad spectrum SPF 30, UVA, UVB protection. Um, just like the blue one. They're both SPF 30. Don't know why there's a color difference. Um, but other than that, they're the same thing. So that's it. This, zoom out a little bit here, or actually move the whole tripod up. This is what I keep in what ails your pack. So this will treat just about anything that you may immediately come across, hiking or exploring, anything of that nature. It all fits into this nice little clear plastic container with a really good seal around it. So, and it clamps up. Well, pardon me. And that's all it is. It's just a sandwich, almost like a bento box. Spurs holding sandwiches. It works out really well. But that's it. This is the What Ails You Pack. I'm going to go through and try to find all of the uh, brands. I'm going to link their direct web page. And if I could find them on Amazon. Most of the time on Amazon, there's going to be more than a two or three pack. So, you know, if you're interested in any of the products that are here, it should be down in the description below. Uh, if this is something you like and want to see more of, always press like and subscribe if you can. And uh, I'll be showing you some more cool stuff in a little while. I also got another book review coming up. I think it's going to drop Thursday. Um, I think that's when I'm going to start doing them. That's it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.